All right, everybody. I was thinking our next project is going to be right over here, but it uh, sounds like we have some uh, unwanted guests. So I wonder if it's nighttime or daytime. Which one is it? But let's uh, take care of them really quick. Oh. So let's go ahead and uh, just get rid of them because, you know, they're not going to despawn. I've actually logged in and out two or three times, and I forgot they don't despawn. So that was my bad on that one. Uh, let's see. Eh. I guess we're going to make a new one. But they're just going to be sitting there making that noise the whole time, and I'm not going to deal with that. So you might be also wondering why I'm over here. Nope. Hi. You got their bows. Oh, I can't. Now, if I stand here, they might actually just shoot each other. Oh. Oh, one got me. There we go. And there we go. They're all taken care of. That just took a few minutes. But since we got them out of the way, let's actually go ahead and place all these blocks back. I, I think I have... Eh, no, I'm doing good. I don't have any arrows. So, over here, uh, I'm going to actually be putting in the multi-item sorter. I already decided where it's going to go. It's going to be right here. Uh, I still don't have all of it hooked up yet. I'm still thinking on this one being a massive silo. Basically, just a massive silo. Because we do have all this already built. And I can build this up a couple more times. Do this for some of the major ones. Um, also, if you notice something a little different in my voice. Well, uh, I lost my voice for a few days. Uh, I've got it back, kind of. So, you're going to have to bear with me. And... Uh, and I do apologize about it taking me forever to get a day or video out. It seems like they're taking me longer and longer, but I am doing my best. So let's go ahead and get onto it and get this all taken care of right here. All right, everybody. I got a little bit of bad news, actually. All right, everybody, I got... Oh, I was looking at the wrong thing. I'm making it weird. All right, everybody. I got a little bit of bad news. Uh, whenever I was doing the time lapse for this, it kind of messed up on me. So, uh, this is basically what I'm building. At. I'm losing pieces. I'm losing pieces. I decided to go grab some terracotta because it's a lot easier to build with. So one thing I did notice, um, when I started working on this one, oh, we're just going to have to hop down here. It was dumping everything in here. Well, what I did was I forgot to put in a few things. There's a piece of redstone right there. And you notice a big flaw with this. There's a lot of it missing. So I got a little bit of redstone. And hopefully I can pull off a little magic trick. Um, do I need you there? No. So hopefully, okay, I don't know how I did that, but basically I need to put redstone right here on each one of these. 
we should start here in clicks. And what this is doing, and I can actually explain this. So it's actually locking this hopper. This hopper is going to be a filter because if we come over here, just gently crawling, we notice that one doesn't have one either. But this cannot pass through items. So if I put a filter in here, it's passing through. But I must be missing another piece of redstone. I'm going to have to go through this. So this is a very extensive project. Um, it's kind of weird how some of these are clicking and some aren't. I'm not going to complain. I'm going to get this done first. And once we get this, we should be good. I don't think there's any other redstone I needed to put in here. Hopefully that sound is not passing through. I'm trying a whole different setup with my uh, computers and everything, so bear with me if the sound is a little bit weird right now. And excuse the dog in the background. Give me one second, everybody. Let's make sure I got all these in here. These all have filters back here. These all have to have a full line of uh, uh, fully stacked items, and this one needs one. So I did that to all of these back here. Um, it wasn't too bad. The system should look somewhat familiar. It's actually kind of like what Cub Fan used in his Season 7 base. Um, I forgot what he called it. But it's similar, uh, except mine is more linear. And that is a floating anvil. And that just sounded weird. Okay, so... Up here. Oh, I am out of inventory space. Uh, can't get rid of anything. So you can see they have all these blockers in here. See, I have hopper filters and blockers. The blockers can go like this, and that one should not be going through. So I am missing another piece of redstone somewhere. There's a lot of redstone everywhere. Maybe that's what I'm missing. Yeah, there it is. So I'm going to have to go through this whole system and find every one of these. That's going to be a pain. But it shall be done. And I guess it's really not that hard. See, where are all these coming in? Nope, it's going to be hard. Because it's right under here. So I'm going to have to figure a way to get around all this. I guess I'm just going to have to scaffold across. But let me come back in a minute whenever I get all this placed and fixed. Maybe that was just the only one. Is that one has it and this one doesn't. Or this one has it too. You can see it goes down a little bit. This one seems to have it. So I guess I'm going to have to just come through here and search. And this is a good time to actually get some type of flooring in up here. So these all should work. Now I'm going to check my audio real quick and make sure this is sounding right. And I will... Sh Actually, let me show you one other thing. So when it comes in, it's going to come through... Right through... So this filter... I know I have a filter around here somewhere. I think it's a little bit lower. Let's jump down here. Okay, see how this one has 6448? This one should too. So this one should have six. Uh, da. Seriously? How in the world did I make that shot? Well, um, I know where my torches are. So we have to have hopper filters. And that's what these are named. But this one is not stopping for some reason. So I wonder, is it all of those? Wait, am I looking at the wrong one? 
I am. I am an idiot. So 64. And 48. What you need up there. And then two like that. So I have to go through and do all of these this way. And then we'll work on the rest. But first, I'm going to... Not to hit my head on everything. And kind of clear some of this stuff up. All right, everybody. I found a, a bit of a flaw with my design. Just a, just a little bit. Um, If we come up here and we take a quick gander, if I'm... Okay. So, the problem is, this is pointing that way. Um, yeah, it does not go that way. So, I designed my sorting system over here to go that way, as this way as well, if you can tell by the last few uh, hoppers right here. I still need to finish this last little... I have, like, two more items. And this thing is completely done. But yeah, I designed it to go this way because there's going to be like an overflow system like right back here. Or maybe on this side and we'll have like a few things on this end. But for now, that will be fine because there's not going to be any overflow. Or at least there shouldn't be. But if there is, I will just have a simple little storage area right here. Just right in front. It's easy. So we can just go ahead and get started with this. But like I said, that was a little bit of flaw. And I've just been thinking about it. I could have ran hoppers all the way back around. And that would have been a pain. That would have been a major pain. But what am I going to do? Well, it's very easy. Basically, since no one's ever going to see this section right here. But we'll know about it. It's going to come over. Right about here. And it's going to shoot an item down. So we're going to encase this with the glass. And everything. And I think actually right here might be a better spot. So it's going to be right in front of the door. Well, this is not going to exist anyway. So it's, we're not going to worry about that. But yeah, it's going to shoot down here. And it's going to go over into this section right here. So basically... Let's go ahead and clear this out. Uh, that was the, my only option. And we could come in and make this look a little bit better. But we may do that in a little bit. If time permits us. But that's basically what I'm thinking of doing. And then we're just going to run glass up here. I did make sure I had enough space so I can come back in and check to see how things are working. And why, how'd that place there? But basically, what's going to happen, they're going to come in here. I need to put a slab right here so they can just slide under. And I don't have any slabs. I have one slab. See, it was meant to be. So we're going to put the one slab right here. And we're going to go back through and start placing down, not the packed ice, but the ice ice. You know, like that song? And now looking at it, we're probably actually going to need more than just one piece. Or one slab, with the way water works. But you can kind of get the general idea. I'm going to go ahead and kind of tower up. Whoa. Let's use something that I can actually get into. And I believe I had a spare... You know... I do actually have a lot of slabs just laying around now thinking about it. No one's ever going to see that, right? I mean, if we ever get a chance, we can actually go back down there and kind of make it look a little bit better. But I don't know where my cutting table is. That flowing water just freaked me out for a second. Oh, why don't I just look in here? Uh, how should we do this? I think cut stone would be fine. Ass, make it look fancy. But we can kind of see where it's going to go, and then we can just place that and that. If we really want to speed it up, we don't even have to break it. But basically, an item will come be shot down here, go in here, and should. Well, if that would melt. 
Let me try this again. Go down, come through, and look at that. And it gets some pretty good momentum. So right now, I just need to put down all these and count out the blocks, and I should be able to get it from there. All right, everybody got all the water lines in. Let's make sure this works. It should hit the soul sand at the end. And wow, when that thing gets moving, it gets moving. That is super fast. And yeah, I'm stuck at this pace for some reason. And there we go. That's actually pretty nice. Just to make sure nothing's going to get jammed. Let's drop them all around here. Nope. Everything's flowing right here. Exactly where we want it. So, next thing we want to do is actually come up. Actually, we're going to have to go like this. And we'll probably put like a brick exterior or something right here. I have to go look to see what I have over there. But I believe it is just simply bricks. And don't need this torch here anymore. And just so we can see it, what's going on, and when we get back here, but nobody else can, we can actually set the glass on this side. What we want to do is raise it up to the proper height, which I believe is right about here. And now here comes the fun part. So we have to first off remove that. The second of all, get it all the way over here without flooding anything. So that is going to be an interesting, interesting thing. So I'm just sitting here thinking, trying to make sure I'm not going to mess up of any of my redstone. Might have to change this out for some packed ice. So we can just have it slide across into this hopper right here. And that should be pretty easy to contain. And on this part, we're going to have to make sure we cut it off right here. So, trying to think of how to do this without having to worry about it getting snagged right there. All right, so a little bit of a change of plan. Water's going to come up here. And oop, that's not what I wanted to place. Uh, it's going to basically flow back around and come back into here. That should work. And now I'm kind of curious on where these items went. Because a few items fell in there. So that automatically went into there. Ooh, that's not good. My, the... Oh, wow. It's already... Melted all that. Um, okay. Let me test something real quick. So the line comes in here. I think I might have missed a line. Yeah, those are automatically going to pull down there. Let me go double check that and we'll get back to that in a second. All right, everybody. Uh, after that uh, little bit of a break... I was able to sit back and think, and I realized what I did wrong. Well, there's a couple things, actually. One being this little uh, water thing will not work. It, for some odd reason, is too fast. I tested this in a single-player world. And also, this slice right here, even though it's not completely set up, even after I set it up completely, it just it won't work. I have to take this out. This is the second part of a slice. Um, so whenever you do something like this, it has to be in or twos or pairs. So, yeah, I had to take that out. So why it was letting objects go down it already? Well, I can actually show you, and I feel such like a complete idiot. So we head up here. 
All right, so we're going to ignore those last two things. But it is actually right about, I believe it's right around here-ish. Yeah, right here. So, right here, yeah, right here is the culprit. So, let's go ahead and pick up all of our junk we're throwing on the ground. Because that ice is actually pretty hard to come by at times. And it is right here. So on every one of these observer, I forgot to put a powered rail. So luckily, I have ender pearls, and I should be able to go. Whoop. I gotta love those ender pearls, and hopefully, I grabbed them this time. I did, perfect. So yeah, this is the only thing that I was forgetting. So if you give me a second, I'm gonna have to crawl through this tiny hole, and yeah, pretty much put all these back in. Now, even though this thing's not gonna be able. We can't use it. Um, I actually do have a purpose for this right here. So I'm going to go ahead and knock all this out. And this is basically going to be the uh, overflow area. I want to make sure I grab all these components. They're not the cheapest in the world. But I do want to leave this here. This has to stay here. And, well, that's going to be knocked out in a second. Everything else... Yeah, I can pretty much go. All right, so next thing to do is, sadly, clear all this out. Even though this was a cool idea, it's kind of sad it didn't work, but it has to go. And really, I wish we did have a tool that would cut through glass a little bit faster. That's always been like kind of my pet peeve with uh, Minecraft. That we didn't have something that could uh, cut through glass any faster still the same thing no matter what now what we're gonna have to do is really easily just take our hoppers and run them back through here and originally i thought about coming through this side but i realized a little flaw with that so we're gonna have to go right back through here so uh, let me get all these uh hoppers laid and this is gonna be kind of tedious so I will be back in just a minute. All right, everybody, we got everything in. Apparently, I'm in a composter, but we got everything in. And have all the composters on top to help reduce the lag a little bit. I really did not want to do this, but apparently it's just too fast the other way. And you can see, if we head over here, I'm going to have to take out all this bridge, but we have everything in. So the last few things we're going to have to do... Is pretty much, let's see, not do that, but really, I'm going to have to fill in a few holes, but that's not that big of a deal. Okay, more than a few, but take all this bridge out, which is always kind of fun to do, but a little weird when you're going backwards. And I'm surprised none of that fell into the lava. You can see it's just right on the edge. And why does that take longer? But yeah, we got it all in. If we hop in here real quick. And it hooks up to the last bit of the sorter. Which, actually, I don't mind it coming down this way now. Thinking about it. Because it was a little bit easier to cover this up. Because I already made those uh, pillars up there in the front. Now, where to have the unloader? And um, that I've been thinking about for a little bit. And basically, where I'm going to put it at is right over here. You can kind of see where this shulker box is. And I thought this would be a good spot to have it come in at. And yeah, so we can have all of our stuff come up and be shot up into one of these droppers right here. But we're probably going to be using this main line right here. So all of our new items can go right through this little sorting system right here. Not the sorting system, this uh, hopper line. And go into our system. So let me get that set up real quick. And that should be the last bit. And then all my sorting will be done. Except for one thing. And one thing major. I cannot believe I've forgotten it for this long. You can kind of guess what it is. Let's see. My filters. All my filters need to be put in. Other than that, this is all done. So, let me uh, go ahead and get the shulker unloader over here. And I think we're going to have the shulker boxes go all the way over here. 
and pretty much be placed. Helps if I go in the right direction. I'm thinking of having the shulker boxes go into right here. Maybe inset a little bit, or actually right about there. Kind of want to keep it in the center-ish. I guess I don't really have a center right here. But you get what I mean. Actually, yeah, I will. But, yeah, it's going to come in. I think I'm going to have all the shulker boxes end up right here. And that would be kind of cool. Having uh, everything all centralized. And when we need items, well, we can come over here. It's like, oh, hey, we need this, this, or this. Grab that. And if we need bulk items, we can go over there. So everything will be sorted out. So let me get this uh, cleaned up a little bit. And we can go from there. All right, everybody. Uh, So... I ran into a few uh, kind of issues this uh, episode, and luckily I was able to correct most of them. For one, I know it's been a bit, but I have uh, already started my next episode, getting it round and everything. But I, so what took it so long this time is basically I lost my voice and my uh, microphone went out. You can notice there's actually a big change in the way it sounds. And hopefully it's sound for better. Um, but yeah, so my microphone went out. And yeah, that kind of sucked. One of the things you don't want it to happen. But I have it all set up and up and going now. So I should be good. Um, that has actually been one of the things that's been going on with my videos. Uh, the volume or the mic would like cut in and out. And I finally just broke down and bought a new one. So with everything that happened that episode or this episode, uh, let's go ahead and wrap it up for today. It's We got quite a bit done, but I got a, quite a bit more things planned. And yeah, it should be interesting and should be actually coming out maybe... This one should be coming out Thursday. So yeah. Um, also, uh, there's a lot of decoration we're decorating we're going to be doing. And we're going to be doing it over on the live streams. So if you want to catch those out, just catch me out on EnigmaCraft86. All right, let's try that again. Uh, Twitch.tv EnigmaCraft86. Um, I do stream normally on Thursdays, Fridays, and Sat or Thursdays, Saturdays, and Sundays. I can't even get my own screen stream schedule going. But this month is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to be streaming uh, Tuesdays, Thursdays. Fridays, no, Tuesday, Thursdays. All right, everybody. We're going to go ahead and wrap it up for today. Um, I had a lot of technical issues, like actual IRL technical issues. With uh, this last episode, uh, my mic went out, my voice went out. It seemed like if it wasn't one thing or another, but we uh, was able to get it pulled off. You can notice there's a big difference in my voice, especially in the middle of the uh, last few segments. It's a little bit clearer, hopefully. Um, yeah, that, so that's two things you don't want to have to go out on you. Actually, I don't think anybody wants anything to go out on their computers or themselves. But yeah, so I already started working on the next episode. So it's going to be a little more consistent. That was one of my kind of big issues I've been having for a while. My microphone. It was a cheap microphone. It lasted me quite some time. It did really well for what it was. But I... It was time to upgrade and actually have a proper recording microphone. But um, a lot of the decoration and everything we're going to be doing around the bases is going to be done on the live streams. Um, I do stream on Thursdays, Saturdays, and Sundays. But the whole month of May, I will be streaming four times a week, if not more. Uh, I do actually have a Among Us stream coming up. I believe it was the 21st. I'll let you all know. Um, if you guys want to check that out, just check it out over on twitch.tv slash EnigmaCraft86. And yeah, and I'll catch you guys there. Um, but yeah, we got a lot of stuff planned, and I don't know. It's I kind of enjoy being back in the vanilla. Um, I've been playing a lot of modded here lately. 
but there's something about vanilla I always love. So let's go ahead and wrap it up here today. I hope you guys take it easy and have a great rest of the week. You guys are amazing. And if you've made it this far, you're awesome. That's what I say. You are amazing. And uh, yeah, don't forget to hit a like, subscribe if you're new. Uh, any comments, concerns, or anything else, put down in the comment section down below. And don't forget to check everybody else out. And make sure they feel loved down in the uh, comment section down below of their videos. Uh, there's quite a few people that are streamers, recorders on this server. So, yeah. But until next time, take it easy, everybody. Have a great rest of the week. Bye.